Real quick, I'd like to give a massive shout out to all the homies on Patreon who chose to support the cult and help keep the lights on. If you want more information on how to support the channel and get your name up here at these fucking chads, check out the video description below. All right. Hey guys, these next few videos will be AOE related. I realize that I focus heavily on single target and boss damage since that's typically what everyone pays attention to on the meters. And of course, that's what our parses are based off of. However, and this is heavily the reason why I'm doing these videos now, and I probably should have done these way earlier. Overall damage is king in raids, not boss damage, especially when the bosses are as easy as they are. I guarantee if you look at how many times your guild is wiped in Black Hydral, yes, I said Black Hydral. It's Black Temple and Mount Hydral smashed together and it sounds way better than Mount Temple. So yeah, I guarantee if you look at it, how many times your guild is wiped in Black Hydral, that a large majority of them were on trash packs. Raids are predominantly filled with trash. Not only that, but are also mostly AOE. And as one of, if not the best AOE class in the game, it is our job to do whatever we can to do as much damage as we can. The faster the mobs die, the less chance of your fellow raid members dying, and of course, the raid goes faster. Now, there are many factors to improving your C damage, and it'd be impossible to know exactly what you have to do without me going over all your logs. However, there are a few things that are huge that can help you do an absolute ton of extra damage on your seeds. From gear, gems, consumables, and whatever else. I'll try to cover it all. This will be in two or three parts to keep the videos not too long. Side note, I will elaborate more in part two, but you should be demonic sacrificing your fell hunter for Mount Hydro Trash instead of the Succubus. 15% damage is wasted as your AoE capped, and the mana regen from fell hunter is super cozy. In my entire Mount Hydro last night, it ended up being about 110 extra seed of corruptions I gained. It's pretty crazy. It helps with less tapping. Less tapping means more seeding. Also, use crit food. It's called Skullfish Soup. There's no point in using spell food for the same reason. It's AoE capped. Plus, the food gives you 20 crit. That's pretty crazy. Anyway, so part one will be about the most important part of AoEing. Your gear. Or rather, your seed set. What you wear while you're spamming seed of corruption is by far the most important factor to your damage. With tons of gear, gems, and stats to choose from, there really is a very linear direction you need to take when gearing for AoE, and that's crit rating. Critical Strike, aka Crit, is so important to your AoE as a Warlock, specifically because we all know that there's an AoE cap to the damage that you can do. And the only thing that ignores that AoE cap is crit. So swapping out spell power pieces or gems for crit is 100% to play. So simply put, stack crit, do more damage. Now, what could possibly make seeds even better? Faster seeds, aka haste. It's the only thing better than crit. We love haste. Sadly, there's not too much of it yet, but whatever bit we can get, we want. Haste is worth about a twice as much as crit. If you have a slot to use haste, I'd suggest using that even over the crit piece if you're given an option. Both these stats help you out tremendously. The goal here is to get fast seeds that crit for tons of damage. By now, you've all heard of the infamous Oblivion set. The disgusting four-piece dungeon blue set that we all hated to farm, but we did it anyway because it was just too powerful. We also hate wearing it. it looks like shit, and I'm tired of wearing blue gear. Well, the good news is, you don't need to wear it. Well, not all the time. I actually finally replaced it for Mount Hydro, and now I only wear it in Black Temple, as the AoE isn't capped nearly as much. So for Black Temple, I still wear Oblivion set with Spell Strike, Crit Off pieces, etc., and full Crit Gems, etc., etc., and still feel Oblivion in Black Temple, and so I'll continue to use it. For Mount Hydro, though, it's suggested you replace your Oblivion set with an actual set of gear that you can stack with as much crit as possible, since Mount Hydro trash is pretty much always AoE capped, which means if you're still using Oblivion set in there, you actually are missing out on a ton of crit, which is a ton of damage. So I set out to find the best crit set that I could think of. Thanks to the lovely site, thanks to the lovely site 70 upgrades, and of course the absolute mind-boggling big brain warlock discord, I came up with this. The link to these will also be in the description. And I know we can't get all these pieces, that's why there's more than one list. No, I do not have all this gear, but I want it, and this is what I'll be aiming for for my best in slot capped AoE set, pretty much only for Mount Hydro. Now this gear is out of reach, while of course things like skulls, ED, and whatever weapon you're using, whatever weapon you're using, the rings and such are out of your control, as they do not only drop from raid, but are heavily contested. However, this is a bit list, and in my opinion, the best gear that you can get. As always, let me know in the comments if below if you have any questions or if I missed something. And please hit that thumbs up for me and subscribe to the cult if you're not already. By the way, I stream six days a week over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Gaming, Literally non-stop TVC stuff. I have like six, seven thousand alts and we're just in GDK peace with all of them and having a blast. Come check us out. Let's get it. All right, this helm has hands down the most crit than anything else that you can get your hands on. Remember, you still need your meta gym as it's huge for AoE. So don't worry about Cal the Grand Engineer. As for the meta, like most of you, I've always used the Chaotic Skyfire Diamond and slapped crit gems in it. However, there's another meta gem called Mystic Skyfire Diamond that is, in my opinion, much better for seed spamming. This meta has the chance to increase your spellcasting speed. The third proc is 320 haste, which is the same as a Quag's Eye. It's also got a relatively short ICD of 35 seconds, allowing you to get your proc on every set of Wave Crash. Huge shout out to Hannah from the Warlock Discord for putting the time to thoroughly test this, and of course to bug us about it. Much love, brother. To be fair, we've always known that this meta gem was good. However, I just personally don't like the MSD requirements. It requires you to have more blues than yellows, which is just fucking awkward, because it makes you use those five crit six spell pin gems, losing out on five crit per gem. However, that is minimal gains when thinking about 320 haste. 
It's the route myself and many warlocks are starting to do, and I suggest you try it for yourself as well. In any matter, pick a meta and put it in this helmet. With Neck at first, I was going to try to use my KT Neck until the Reliquary of Souls Neck since they both have 24 crit. Then I noticed the PvP Neck had 21 crit, but a socket, which, yep, you guessed it, I farmed out and put a 10 crit gem in, and resulting in 34 crit rating, which, if you ask me, is well worth it. The net costs 15k honor, which is easily done in a day, maybe less, with the mark turn-ins, since they buffed the honor gains. Shoulders and bracers, both are obviously going to be nimble thought. They've got haste, and there's nothing else that compares to them. The bracers you can buy at the auction house are getting kind of cheap, anywhere from like 800 to 1200 gold. But the shoulders you actually need to be tailoring for, kind of like boots of blasting. So I dropped engineering for tailoring, then crafted the shoulders, and then immediately dropped tailoring and went back to engineering, uh, which allowed me to use these shoulders. It's worth it if you're thinking about it. It costed about 3 to 4k on Feralina. That one is all up to you, though. If you really don't want to spend the gold for the swap, then pick up Hate Fairy Mantle off of Anatheron and Hygel. Alright, so Cloak fits the same role as the previous. You want the only Haste Cloak you can get right now off of Illidan. Yes, it's a Healer Cloak, and no, I'm not here to tell you who it should go to. If you can't get this Cloak ever, then you're stuck with a Council Crit Cloak, which is fine. Not as good, but, you know, whatever. As for Chess, this is spicy because the absolute biss is Vestments. However, I know many people don't even have one, let alone a second one to put crit gems in. If you do have one and you can get your hands on T6 chest, you could run that and then use vestments for your crit set, but that's a little far-fetched. So unless you have gold or luck for the second vestments, just go pick up Roba Hateful Echoes off, off Hydros. It's six less crit and I got it for like 200 gold and a GDKP. Toss three crit gems in it and call it a day. Gloves were easy. The Soul Eater hand ramps off Magdaradon are well and above best in slot. Well, technically the world boss gloves are, but good luck with those, right? The mag gloves you probably have in the bank rotting away. I personally had an item restoration them. I had to item restoration them. And if you've never got them, then don't worry. They're going for a whopping 400 gold on in GDKPs. Side note, on gloves, make sure you enchant your gloves with crit. And only crit. Now the belt is where it gets kinky. If you want to go real greasy, the healing belt is bis. And it was slightly more haste than a drop of intellect. However, we don't need our healers to stop healing us, right? So I'm just going to leave that alone and just go for our haste belt. You can use a crit one two sockets as well, but even with the crit gems, it does not beat out the haste belt. As for the pants, you can either run T6 pants or channeled leggings. Technically, T6 pants is better as it has slightly more crit and 18 intellect. Just be happy with whatever you get, though, to be honest. Next up for your feet, the best ones you can get are actually your single target best in slot boots, slippers of the sea collar, meaning you only need two of these. Next best in the meantime is boots of foretelling from Karazhan as it only got 10 less crit total. Uh, for the rings, it's pretty obvious that you want the two haste rings. The healing haste rings are equally as good if you want to be a dick, but I wouldn't suggest it. In the meantime, just use your highest crit rings. So trinkets get more fun with seed sets. So of course you want squags. If you've never heard of squags, that's skull and quags mashed together. Okay, so of course you want squags, aka skull and quags. Everyone knows that. But what do you do when skull is on CD or quags is on ICD or both? Well, you should be swapping trinkets in these situations. If you just use skull on the last wave of the trash, then it's on CD for the next one. So why would you use it on the next pack when you can easily swap to a good crit trinket like sextant or a threat trinket like prism try to make sure you're getting value out of your trinkets by swapping to whichever you prefer while the others are on cooldown i used to use a mix of sextant quags and prism and until our powder got more geared now i don't use prism anymore i do not personally like or use the lightning capacitor i tested this for a while and i try to make it work but it's trash and nobody can talk me into it i'd rather use the crit from other trinkets than that shit trinket pretty much it looks like quags and sextant and then when quags is on cooldown i just swap to another crit trinket as for the wand, I use Spellstone, actually. It's flat 20 crit rating. You can use the wand for Mac Theranon if you want. It's got six less crit, but brings 11 intellect. Remember, intellect gives you mana and crit. Granted, a very small amount in this example. While we're on the topic of intellect, there's an argument to be made to enchant your weapon with intellect since it's technically bis. This is technically AoE cap, and the damage from Soul Frost is irrelevant. I don't do this because I'm using Zardoom as my single target weapon as well, and let's be real, intellect on a weapon feels like ass. Speaking on weapons, Zardoom is the best weapon that you can get for seed sets. Obviously not everyone can get it. In this case, I would just use Blade of Wizardry, which is phenomenal for seed set and just weave it in with a crit blade whenever a Blade of Wizardry is on ICD. Use a big crit offhand like Chronicle or Fathomstone. Now let's be real. How long would it take to get all this? Most, if not all of it, is based on RNG from tier six drops. So I set out to see what I had or could get outside of tier six raids. This is what I came up with and what I use. Obviously, I'm missing a lot of other haste pieces, but in the meantime, I'm using the pieces that give me the most crit. Even in this set, I'm like 5% more crit than my Oblivion set, which is huge. Anyways, that's it for this one, homies. I'll get part two up here in a few days. That will be in game footage and some technical gameplay and stuff that will help drastically. This one's just literally just kind of get the gear out of the way, okay? I hope this helps and much love. Please let me know if I can do anything to make this better for you guys. Stop by the stream anytime you want to ask some questions and meet the new homies. Like I said, I'm in a warlock, a priest, hunter. I got, fury, I got everything, bro. We're working on a whole massive alt. It's a lot of fun, man. Come check us out.
Once again, you can stop by whenever you want as well to like ask whatever questions you want as well. I ask questions all day. Uh, as always, massive shout out to the supporters over the cult, over the Patreon, and good luck on the loot and peace.